Welcome to the Micromotion How-To Video Series. In this video, we will cover how to run the batching feature of the 5700 transmitter using the display. The learning objectives for this video are the following. Understand how to configure the batch presets. How to configure a discrete output for valve control. How to run a batch. And understand how to configure the automatic overshoot compensation algorithm. For the complete set of configuration instructions, please refer to the appropriate Micromotion Transmitter Configuration and Use Manual, located on the Emerson website. The 5700 configurable I.O. transmitter now has two-stage batching compatibility with Transmitter Software 2.0. The complete setup required for using the 5700 transmitter as a two-stage batch controller are the following. 5700 Config I.O. Transmitter with Transmitter Software 2.0 Micromotion Coriolis Sensor connected to the transmitter Channels B, C, D licensed along with a batching software package feature A Micromotion Model 3100 Relay Unit or other suitable relays And two valves First, configure the global parameters the global batching parameters apply to all batch presets and all batches. Select Menu. Configuration. Process Measurement. Batcher. Global. Set batch variable to the process variable that will be used to configure and measure the batch. Set max target to the largest batch that will be allowed. If you try to set the batch target to a larger amount, the transmitter will reject the setting. Set max batch time to the maximum number of seconds that a batch will be allowed to run. If the batch does not reach this target before the period expires, the batch is halted automatically and an alert is posted. If maximum fill time is set to zero, the control is disabled and no maximum time is applied to batches. For two-stage batching, set the following parameters. Two-stage batching is a batch that is run involving a primary valve and secondary valve. For both single and two-stage batching, batch set points can be configured by using either the percent of target value or the quantity of the fluid measured. Percent target. The values for Open Primary, Open Secondary, Close Primary, and End Warning are each configured as a percent of target. Quantity. The values for Open Primary and Open Secondary are each configured as a quantity at which the valve should open. The values for Close Primary and End Warning are each configured as a quantity that is subtracted from the target. A batch preset is a predefined group of batching parameters. You can define and save up to six batch presets. When you run a batch, you must choose a preset. You can modify the batch target before you run the batch. All other settings are fixed. Select Menu, Configuration, Process Measurement, Batcher, Presets. Select the preset that you want to configure. Set the preset status as desired, enabled or on. The preset is available for use. You can select it to run a batch, disabled or off. The preset is not available for use. You cannot select it to run a batch. You can always enable it at a later time. Preset 1 is always enabled and cannot be disabled. Set name to the name to be used for this preset. Set target to the size of the batch. When the transmitter has measured the specific amount, it closes the valve. Set end warning to the point in the batch at which a Modbus coil will be set. The end warning allows the transmitter to alert the operator to the end of the batch. The operator can prepare for the end of the batch by adjusting the flow rate to avoid overflow. The transmitter runs a batch by opening and closing a valve. You must configure a discrete output to send the open and close commands to the valve. Prerequisites. Channel B, C, or D must be available for valve control. The selected channel must be wired to the valve. The selected channel and the valve must be powered by a power supply, not by the transmitter. 
Procedure. Verify the wiring between the selected channel and the valve. Configure the selected channel to operate as a discrete output. Choose Menu, Configuration, Inputs Outputs, Set Channel B, Channel C, or Channel D to operate as a discrete output. Set Power Source to Internal when using the Micromotion Model 3100 Relay Unit. Procedure. Configure the selected channel for valve control. Choose Menu, Configuration, Inputs Outputs. Select the discrete output to be used for valve control. Choose I.O. Settings. Set Source to Batch Primary or Secondary Valve or Pump Control. Set Fault Action so that the valve will be closed if a fault occurs. To run a batch using the front display of the 5700 transmitter, select Menu, Batcher, Run Batch. In the Run Batch menu, select the desired batch preset. The batch total can be selected and reset if necessary. Select the batch target and enter a new batch target or confirm the existing target. Select the batch control to get to the batch control menu. Select and save Begin to start the batch. The batch total will start to increment and stop when it reaches the batch target. If you choose to pause or end the batch for any reason, you can select the batch control menu and select either pause or end when the batch is running. If the batch is paused, you can continue the batch by selecting resume. AOC or automatic overshoot compensation adjusts the timing of the valve close command to minimize overshoot. The valve close command is sent before the target is reached to compensate for the time required for the valve to close completely. AOC is applied to all presets and all batches. There are three options for AOC. Compensation off. The transmitter sends the close command when the measured batch total reaches the configured target. Fixed compensation value. The transmitter sends the close command when the measured batch total equals the target minus the value configured for fixed overshoot compensation. This value is configured in the current mass or volume unit and applies to all presets. AOC algorithm. The transmitter compares the actual measured amount of each batch to the batch target and determines the adjustment by calibrating itself according to an internal algorithm. You can choose to stop AOC calibration when you are satisfied with the result or you can set up rolling or continuous AOC calibration. Select Menu. Configuration. Process Measurement. Batcher. AOC. Then set Compensation Mode to AOC and hold the right arrow to save. In summary, you should now know the following. Understand how to configure the batch presets, how to configure a discrete output for valve control, how to run a batch, and understand how to configure the automatic overshoot compensation algorithm. For the complete set of configuration instructions, please refer to the Micromotion Transmitter Configuration and Use Manual, which can be found on www.emerson.com.